Good morning and welcome to the airplane with me. I'm just getting all my stuff on board and I just want to walk through everything that I do to show you from beginning to end. Obviously I can't film the time that I am dealing with the passengers but I will be able to take the time to show you just how I do that without even anybody on board. So let's get started when you first get to the airplane. Funny enough, the first thing that I want you to do is go flush the toilet. Well, good thing I flushed the toilet because there is no water cycling through that. So I need to be able to tell the pilots right away, hey, I need the lab to be filled. And another reason that you want to check the lavatory right away is to be able to see, does it stink? If it smells, then you want to have them change out the fluid in the lavatory right away. Don't wait to the end. That's why we do it right at the beginning. When you first get on the airplane, I want you to become incredibly familiar with everything on it if this is your very first time. Now, if it's not your first time, um, even if it's your millionth time on the airplane, I want you to check all of your safety gear. Get real familiar with the safety equipment on your aircraft, whether this is the first time you're working this airplane as a contractor or you're full time, you do wanna check the emergency equipment every single flight. Uh, don't assume just because you've worked on this airplane that you know where everything is. Be sure to check everything. Are the expiration dates um, still further out? Are they still good? Does everything have power? Does everything have enough oxygen? Take everything out and inspect it. For your flashlights, make sure that they are on or that those there's going to be a little light blinking. For your life rafts, make sure that they are there, that they are secure. For the AED, pull it out and make sure that there is either a blinking light or something that says good. Every AED is going to be just a little bit different, but there will be a signal to say, hey, yes, this thing is good. Every plane's operating system will be just a little bit different. So I want you to go directly to the panel and turn everything on. Some will be a digital panel and some will be a simple panel with buttons. When you're getting your aircraft ready and taking delivery of all the catering, things get a little bit messy before they get really neat. So here I sped up the video just so that you can see I'm taking all the catering from the boxes and putting it in a cooler. I don't have a chiller, so I put everything in a cooler with some ice on it. If your aircraft has a chiller, put everything in there as well to keep the food cold. Next, get ice from the line personnel and fill up all of your ice drawers. You're going to want to cover all your drinks with ice and then as well have a drawer designated for just clean ice. This means that you're not going to put a, be putting any cans in there or any other thing. It's just going to be clean ice to be able to use to scoop for drinks. So here you can see I have one clean ice drawer and one another drawer with drinks in it and a second drawer with drinks as well. Keep them all covered. If your aircraft does not have a coffee maker, you can fill up coffee pots, one with regular, one with decaf. My aircraft also has an espresso maker, which I depend on that thing heavily. For coffee cups, you can either use a ceramic mug or I prefer to use paper cups with lids. I know it's not the fanciest thing, but if you were to have turbulence, nothing spills. Next, since I do not have a chiller, I also use my sink as another area to keep things cold. So I will fill up the sink with another bag of ice. And then I'll take tall things like milk, juice, cream, things like that that won't fit in one of my ice drawers. I put them in here. It's just another great way to keep things cold. Be careful when you're pulling out the trash bags from the bins. These fire prongs in the back will rip the bag, so be careful of that. Those fire prongs are meant to go off and put in a fire retardant should there be a fire in there at all. Don't overfill the bag if you can um, because that'll just make it harder for you to pull the bag out. I usually set up the fruit bowl while I'm in the galley, but I have a little bit more space here on the credenza just to show you how I set everything up. All right, so I have my fruit bowl. You can have 
a tall bowl like this, a more shallow bowl. One thing I do like to do is make sure that I have something uh, like non-skid non underneath it so it doesn't slide. Now this will stay for takeoff, sometimes for landing, especially if I know we're gonna have like an abrupt stop, I will then remove this and put this in the galley for landing, but most of the time this will stay here. So, I like to start with some bananas, maybe three, four bananas. Always make sure that you're taking any of the little stickies off. I'll start with bananas in here. Okay, make sure these come off. I'll stack my apples in. Next, I have some cutie oranges. I'll stack those in as well. And then I've already pre-washed my grapes. I have some clusters. Some people like grapes, some people don't. Um, my people on the airplane always love grapes. These always get eaten, so I'll just kind of spread those out in there. And then I like to leave napkins next to it so that, you know, when people are eating the oranges, eating the apples, they have something directly to put um, their peels or their rinds in. So that is what my fruit tray will look like. Now, next, my snack baskets. A lot of flight attendants will not refill snack baskets after they've worked on the plane, which honestly kind of irritates me. I always try to refill them for other people. And then before I get off my own plane, I will make sure that I have refilled the snack basket. So I'll just show you what I have. I have some beef jerky. I've got some um, healthy snacks like dried fruit. I've got all the junk food. I do try to make sure that everything is turned directly out. And then if I need more, check in the drawers. Then I'll pull things out from here, put them out if needed. I just try to make sure that everything in all the snack baskets uh, looks full. You don't want somebody to get to the snack basket and be like, oh, well this thing is quite picked over. Also, it's good to put some napkins in with the snack basket as well for people to see. And I have two snack baskets, so I will get that one filled as well. One little touch that I like to do at every seat is put a water bottle right away before the guests get there. And then I include a couple mints and Starburst right in the cup holder next to them if there's two cup holders in a row. And I find that it's just a sweet little treat and a lot of people really do eat these. So it's just a little touch, you don't have to do it, but it's something that I like to do. passengers are now on the airplane. Now what? I want you to go through right away and ask everybody, what can I get for you to drink? Oftentimes I will keep water or if I know their drink of choice, I will keep it next to their seat. And then if they don't want water, if they want something more than that, then I'll go through right away, serve all the drinks that I possibly can before takeoff. Now one thing that I will not serve before takeoff is wine usually because it's sitting in a much taller glass, or if I do, then I will tell them, hey, be sure to hang on to this for takeoff, or you will be wearing this in your lap. And that usually gets people to think, okay, yes, I need to remember to hang on to that. And if you have time, go ahead and set up things on your credenza as a welcome table, but remember, you might have a short uh, taxi time, so you're gonna need to get everything cleaned up off that credenza before you take off. Sometimes, you know, you might have less than five minutes to do drinks and get everything out and then put away. Or like if you're sitting somewhere like Teterboro, New York or Van Nuys, you could be number 20 in line. So you're gonna have, you're gonna have to gauge for yourself what kind of time that you're gonna have in order to get you know, drinks and any kind of pre-service done. But always remember you can ask your pilots as well, hey, how long am I gonna have uh, in order to serve people before we take off. Now, I would not serve any type of meals, but if there's any kind of, you know, warm nuts, little tiny light bites, that would be okay. But keep any type of appetizers or meals until after you take off. So make sure that you get everything cleaned up and put away for takeoff. Time to buckle up. 
Now, every jump seat in every airplane is gonna be just a little bit different, so get familiar with how the jump seat works, how the harness works, and the seat belt, as well as the seat belt release. All right, so now you've taken off, you've passed 10,000 feet, and the pilots give you the okay to stand up. What comes next? Well, I would go through the cabin and again, ask if you can get anything to drink or give any kind of refills. I will often after that start with hot towel service, or if it's really hot out, then I'll do a cold towel service. Then I'll ask if everybody is interested in eating and I'll tell them what I have on the menu for them or remind them of what it is that they had specifically ordered beforehand. All right, now that my passengers are all off the airplane, I'm gonna go through everything and make sure that they have not left anything behind. So I want you checking behind all things, pull seats out, check behind things, those are mine. Did anybody leave? <laughs> Stuff in here. So basically you just want to check all the nooks and crannies, make sure that nobody left anything underneath seats, behind seats, tucked in anywhere. And then don't forget to check check the baggage compartment. I know the pilots are usually the ones who empty that, but make sure that you haven't left any coats hanging up or anything else, small bags, that kind of thing. So I like to use a mix of alcohol and water and a microfiber and wipe everything down. So spray down the seats and anywhere in the nooks and crannies of the leather, be sure that you're checking in there and wiping things out as well. I want you to pull out every table surface, every table surface, and even if you don't think it got used, be sure to wipe them down. And then I want you to wipe down all the windows as well. There's nothing tackier than having a bunch of fingerprints. Now before you get started, you know, when you're loading everything on the airplane, one thing I would suggest is to wipe down all your surfaces before passengers get there. Especially if you were not the last one on the aircraft, you never know what got left prior. So it's really good to just go through and check all the surfaces beforehand. And then always make sure to wipe things down afterwards. Even if you think you are, you know, gonna be the one working the plane uh, the next day, just be sure that you are leaving the aircraft absolutely spotless because you never know things could change and you could be taken off a trip or another flight attendant is going to be coming in so you do not want to leave any mess whether that is for yourself or for another flight attendant the next day for most of the airplane I do like to use the microfiber cloth but when it comes to cleaning the lavatory I don't want you to use that microfiber cloth I want you to use something disposable so that after you wipe down everything in the lavatory, including the sink and the toilet, that you can throw this out. I don't want you to use the microfiber cloth to, you know, wipe down the whole airplane, then the lavatory and think, oh, I just need to wipe something else down. And you grab that microfiber that you just wiped the toilet with and you wipe something else. So put your gloves on, grab some paper towel and your spray, and then get going in the bathroom and be sure to throw all of that out before you touch anything else. Now for the mirror, I will grab a brand new paper towel and wipe all of that down separately from the paper towel that I use to clean the toilet. Fold the ends of the toilet paper in a nice little triangle. And there's other ways to get even fancier with this, but this is just a basic fold to make things look nice. Then be sure to empty the trash either midway through flight if it gets too full or especially at the end, always leave a fresh trash bag for the next flight. 
All right, now that you have the airplane entirely clean, there's gonna be items that you are gonna to give to the line personnel. Now, sometimes you can give these to them right away and then get the rest of the airplane clean or clean it all up and then hand them over depending on whatever works for you. So today I didn't have too many linens. I just have um, some napkins, so I put it in a laundry bag and I'm gonna hand this over. I usually do label this um, before I hand it over so they know, remember what airplane this goes to. And then also I have my dish bucket. I'm gonna hand this down to them. It is labeled as well. And then I'll just tell them, hey, this is what day uh, we're headed back out. Most times, um, you know, they can get dishes done within a couple hours. As far as laundry goes, I do like to wait until I either make it back to my home base or if I know that I'm gonna be somewhere for more than 24 hours because sometimes laundry, uh, it gets dry cleaned and it'll often take much longer. So I don't want you to get caught without your laundry. If it's a quick turn, um, you know, hang on to this, but you use your judgment as far as how long you're gonna hang on to the laundry. I also keep a much larger bag for like blankets. So after every charter, I do take the blankets off and I have those dry cleaned. I do have blankets um, that are specifically for charter flights and I have other blankets that are specifically for the owners and I do keep those separate. So the owner stuff stays much nicer but that's what I am handing Woo, we're moving. that is what I hand over to the line guys and then hand over your trash as well one thing that you can hand over to the line guys also or line personnel is if you have a cooler bag fill that up with all your leftovers that you want to bring back onto the airplane maybe your your milk your juice your lemons limes that kind of thing hand them a cooler have that labeled as well